y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, my name is Hannah, and today's video I'm going to be making some uh, easy cinnamon bread out of this Amish community cookbook. I got this at, I got this at Walmart for a good price, I think it was like $14 or $15, but I'm going to be making some easy cinnamon bread they have in here. I have made this one other time before and we absolutely loved it, so I know it's good. And it is super easy and simple to make. Okay, to start out, we are going to, first our ingredients are cinnamon, two eggs, baking soda, sugar, flour, butter, milk, well, buttermilk, and I don't have buttermilk, so I am just going to take some regular uh, milk and throw in a little bit of vinegar, and that will be kind of like our um, buttermilk. So to start out, we have to cream together the butter, the eggs, and the sugar. So we need some a cup of softened butter. All right, that was a uh, half a one stick, a half a cup of butter. Now I need another stick for a full cup of butter, and I did forget I forgot to lay out a second stick of butter. So I'm just gonna throw this one in the microwave for a few minutes to uh, soften it up a bit. Alright, we've got our butter out. It did melt on me just a little bit, but hopefully that's okay. Our two eggs. Two cups of sugar. Alright, I've got a a half a cup measuring cup here. So I'm just gonna measure this out to be two cups. Alright, there's two cups of sugar. Here's what your batter should look like right now. Now we need to add our milk, flour, and baking soda. Alright, we need four cups of flour, so again I'm going to use my half a cup here and get that measured out. Okay, we need two teaspoons of baking soda. Now on to our milk. So it calls for two cups of buttermilk, but since I don't have it, I'm going to do two cups of milk and two tablespoons of vinegar. Again, I use the half a cup, so I um, measured that, that out to be two cups. All right, two tablespoons of vinegar. This does make two loaves of the cinnamon bread. I probably should have got a bigger bowl, but oh well.
All right, this is what our batter is looking like now. All right, we've got our batter made. Now we need to grease up our pan. And I only have one little pan, so I'm gonna have to uh, do this um, twice. This is what I'm gonna use to grease our loaf pan up with. So if you're using two loaf pans that you've greased up, I only have one, but if you're using two at one time, it says to take um, half the batter and put it into each of the two loaf pans or a little less. And then and then in a separate bowl, you'll mix up a sugar and cinnamon mixture. Sprinkle that on top of your batters and then top each pan with the remaining batter. So I've only got one little pan, so I'm just going to have to guess at this and how much I need. Cinnamon sugar mixture that's going to go in the middle between the batter. Says I need two teaspoons of cinnamon. And I need a uh, two thirds of a cup of onion. Take a spoon and mix that up. Three fourths of this mixture into both pans. So I am just going to guess at how much I need for this one loaf. Also, I forgot to say, we need to preheat, pre preheat, we need to preheat our ovens to 350. I forgot to say that in the beginning. I'm always bad about starting mixing everything up and starting the recipe before I preheat the oven. I do that basically every single time. Okay, I've got my oven preheating to 350 while I finish this up. Okay, now again, if you're using the two loaf pans, You'll take what's left of your batter in your bowl and divide it into both of the uh, loaf pans. Alright, this is what it should look like. Now we are going to take a knife and swirl it in our pan so we can swirl all that cinnamon and sugar up inside our batter. Okay, just a regular old knife. Now we're just going to swirl. Bake it at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. Cool in the pan for 20 minutes before removing it and then it's ready. It says the bread freezes really nice and it can the recipe can also be used to make muffins. Okay, now we're just going to test our bread to see if it's done. We got to see if this toothpick comes out to be clean. And it does. So here is our finished loaf of cinnamon bread. Now don't forget we got to let this cool inside the pan that it's in for 20 minutes and then we can remove it and it'll be ready to eat. Alright our bread has uh, been cooling in this loaf pan for 20 minutes. Now it's time to take it out and get it cooled the rest of the way. It's still a little hot, so I can't get it put inside my kickstand yet. So I'm going to get out, um, I guess, just a regular plate and let it sit on there for um, a little bit until it gets cooled down. I've just got it flipped upside down on a just a regular plate, 
and letting it cool off some more before I stick it inside my cake stand. That way it doesn't get too much moisture in there from where it's still a little hot. All right, now I need to get the pan greased up again and start on the second loaf. Okay, now I just gotta get some of our batter laid down for the first layer. put a little too much in our first loaf of the batter. Okay, now, now we just got to take the, our cinnamon sugar mixture and sprinkle the rest of it inside our loaf pan. This looks like a ton of sugar and cinnamon in this, but I promise you, it turns out really good and it actually turns out to where it's not super over sweet. I'm just going to throw in the rest of our batter for topping this off. Alright, I used way too much batter in my first loaf of bread, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work anyways. Now, I'm just going to swirl this around with my knife. Alright, I've got it done. Now, it's going back in the oven at 350 for the... Uh, 45 to 55 minutes, I think that's what it was. Um, and I'm going to let this one cook. Probably won't take as much time as that one because, like I said, I used too much batter in my first pan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.